Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well Libra Rising. Weekly Tarot reading November 18th to November 24th, 2019. And bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the Tarot cards. And uh, we can go right into it. All right, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, this is going to be the Six of Pentacles, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the Emperor. The next card is gonna be about the positive aspect of your week, Libra, that is to be the Lover's card. And the last one here, which stands for the guidance that Taro is offering, we do have the Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. All right. Okay, so Six of Pentacles uh, is going to be catalyzed here by the Hierophant card. And so we do have a, a passive supporters into this, uh, into this position. And it looks like that this week, things for you are going to develop the way that you have prepared them, uh, prepared them to, de to develop for. So in other words, you have... Uh, worked up until this moment for a specific current to take place and that current it is to take place for throughout this week so you can expect that your plans are going to start you know give results all right give benefits give kind of like a, uh, a take off was the word that I was searching for. Now as well, throughout the week, it looks like that there are to be uh, some counseling that you are going to do with a bit more experienced people by you, either regarding career or either regarding relationship that is. It is because for a couple of reasons here, you may want to make sure that you have set in motion the right thing for yourself and you just want to kind of ease your mind in regards to, you know, that you have done the right thing. And the other and the other reason why you can search for search for certain counseling it is because you are maybe foreseeing or predicting that there could be a particular issues to arise with your plans moving further into the future you know with them and uh, you would seek this uh, this guidance here to know that these issues or these predicaments can be resolved in the framework of the performance itself instead of searching for an, an additional uh, let's say means or to kind of like reinvent the wheel all right so it's pretty much you will want to reassurance or to reassure yourself that everything is gonna go smooth and in 99 percent of your cases the this counseling is going to produce a very very good results for you so uh it looks like as well that the week with these two cards is going to be uh, a bit more creative for your behalf and under creative i mean uh, how can i say it um 
I mean that you are with, with less efforts, uh, you are to be able to kind of like a um, achieve certain spotlights that you have placed in front of yourself. So you are going to have a bit more spare means, a bit more spare resources to redirect in some peripheral tasks or in some peripheral needs, should you need so. Now, the other card here that stands for the uh, challenge that you need to overcome is going to be the Emperor and is going to be accompanied here by the Queen of, um, by the Queen of Pentacles. So we do have a active neutrals into this uh, particular position. And uh, what the challenge is going to be really? Uh, well, uh, it's not much of a challenge in my opinion. It is just to follow the current. So these two cards here may point that some of your peripheral things and under peripheral things, I will tell you what I mean here with an example. Let's say that this is a pretty big thing into your career. I mean, you set in, mo in motion something very, very big there in regards as a project. And suddenly, you know, peripherally, your family, it kind of needs your, your attention. So that is to be the challenge, you know, to show yourself more reliable and uh, systematic, if you will, to be able to exert certain structure in your life, in all of your life. I mean, in the whole of your life, so you can face all these ups and downs that the peripheral, um, the peripheral activities they are going to present to you with much more ease in general, and uh, yeah, that that is to be the challenge itself, really, not to give up or not to sacrifice a certain things that you already possess in favor of things that you can chase, because with these cards here, you can definitely have it all. All right, it just is going to be a little, a bit more. Um, time consuming let's say and effort con consuming and that thing should not um, how can i say it should not put strings on you in a sense of you know not be but well, what i'm trying to say here is not be do not be lazy all right so pretty pretty busy week it is what we do have for you libra uh, here into november 18th to november 24th now we are going to the good stuff which is the positive aspect and that is to be the lovers and is going to be accompanied here with the queen of uh, cups we do have in an active neutrals into this uh, particular position and uh, well the lovers card may refer in this particular aspect as a flirting okay but that flirting is not going to be emotionally supported at least not at that stage that is because these cards are neutral and it's there will be an emotions but they're not going to be that deep emotions okay although they can transform into a big emotions moving forward into the future and that is just one side of the of the things really additionally to that in a positive way uh, many um, predicaments that you are experiencing that you are carrying on in fact from previous weeks are going to start resolving themselves throughout this week that is going to allow you to make a certain important decisions for yourself for your life for the current that you set in motion and all of those decisions the good the good part here with the lover's card is that there won't be any right or wrongdoing there won't be wrong decision that you can make all right it is just don't um, take them very personally okay just don't take people personally don't take um, decision making as well personally but just be a bit more logically oriented here uh, contrary to the understanding of the lover's card the lovers is an air sign, air rules, mind, and you have to, and as it is a neutral to the emotions, it will be more beneficial. You're just going to reap better results if you lean more toward the logical side of the decision making rather than to the emotional side of the decision making. But also these two cards and on a positive note points to action, okay? So whenever you can initiate or whenever you can take part into specific actions, that will play a, a very beneficial role into your endeavors 
throughout the week. And the last card for you, Libra, which is the guidance that Tarot is offering, that is to be the Eight of Pentacles, accompanied with the Nine of Cups. And I don't know if it gets any better than that, guys, because guidance-wise, these cards points that uh, also you got to take a an initiative here and you got to take a part into, um, into action. It doesn't mean that you have to be reckless. Just on the contrary, whatever action you take, you have to support that action with a, a huge portion of conscientiousness. Additionally to that, you should be in a, such a pace there so you can have a keen eye for, for, for the subtleties, all right, for the minor details, because guess what? Uh, these two cards are pointing that you will not only be able to secure on the current blessings you are working for, but as well these blessings that you are working for are only going to appear as a foundation to something big that you can execute furthermore. So it's kind of like a contiguous endeavor to the endeavor of this week if you do play your cards right. Okay, so the only conclusion that I can make here from uh, this reading, it is that you have set in motion a, a thing that is going to snowball and is going to lead you to uh, a, a results or to an end goal that surpasses significantly the end goal that you have placed up until this moment for yourself. So that being said, Libra, this was your weekly tarot reading November 18th to November 24th, 2019. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.